One of the 75th anniversary of Auschwitz liberation, the infamous Holocaust death camp, was one of the places where Jews were killed. CBS 42 News reporter Hillary Simon talked to some Birmingham locals who know firsthand what life was like inside Auschwitz. Hillary? Yeah, Art and Alyssa, in the year 2020, less and less Holocaust survivors are around to tell their story. But here in Birmingham, we have several that frequently share their story. And in honor of Auschwitz liberation, two survivors, both in their 90s, are reflecting 75 years later. It's been 75 years since the Jews inside Auschwitz Birkenau extermination camp were freed. But the survivors remember it like it was yesterday. We talked lately so much about it, so it all comes back so vividly, you know. And I am uh, now 92, I'm 93, and I, I don't know if I, I want to stop talking about it. Ruth Siegler was 16 years old when her family was taken away from her. She lost her parents and brother in the Holocaust. Ruth and her sister always stayed together and they survived. But she says when she arrived to Auschwitz, it didn't take long until she saw what was happening. The gas chamber we saw and, uh, and the ovens and the mountains of shoes, the mountains of suitcases, the mountains of everything, and then we realize we are the people. Another similar story for Max Steinmetz, who was 18 years old when he arrived at Auschwitz. He remembers a German soldier he refers to as the angel of death. He had a uh, whip in his hand, and he would point to us, and he would look at you and point to the right and point to the left. The two of us went to the right, to the left, my parents and little sister, six years old. That was the last time I ever saw my family. Max lost his entire family. He saw things no teenager should ever see. But 75 years later, these two survivors still have a story to tell. We got the tattoo, and of course I still have it. And uh, they always used to say, why don't you take the number off? I said, then it's another scar. What's the difference? The world has changed somewhat for the better. I'm not sure about that because there's a lot of, a lot of problems going on worldwide today. And both Ruth and Max are featured in the Birmingham Holocaust Education Center. Their full story is on our website at CBS42.com. Really tough stories to tell there, but vividly what stood out to me was those shoes mm. and what mm -hmm. they may have thought when they saw those pile of shoes. Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, their memory is so clear on everything that happened. I mean, I remember when I asked Max, I said, do you remember Auschwitz? And he goes, unfortunately, I remember everything. And you mentioned, Hillary, that there are fewer and fewer survivors now as we move through time. And it's so important to document these stories. And it sounds like the Education Center is doing a great job of archiving that, but for the next generation to hear firsthand. Absolutely. I believe they have a dozen or so Holocaust survivor stories that's already archived in the Holocaust Education Center here in Birmingham. It's very necessary to keep those stories alive. All right, Hillary. Thanks a lot.